Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Claire. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. Um, today is going to be a super fun day because I'm doing this easy breezy, beautiful, glowy, dewy, um, simple beach, natural looking look. That was a whole bunch of adjectives and words. Today's video, I'm just going, doing my face and doing, I do, I'll show you how I do my hair and then put on a little bit of natural glowiness on my skin and so you'll have to keep watching to see how we do that and so yeah this look that I have is just a super easy like a sun-kissed glow dewy vibe going on and it just kind of brings out that natural beauty without caking on too much makeup but there still is a lot of makeup involved but it keeps it looking like just that natural beautiful glow and so um I say this again in the video but I am going to the beach next week and this is honestly probably the look that I will do almost every single day while I'm on vacation and so I'm very excited about that and so yeah um while you're here you might as well subscribe go ahead and press that button and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video and we're gonna start with the face then the hair then the body okay guys for the first step today i'm gonna be doing something since this is going to the beach i'm going to be putting on some of this tart guard um broad spectrum sunscreen and we're just gonna distribute that <laughs> distribute um we're just gonna put that all over our face and really get it in because i'm so excited i actually am going to the beach next week um, like today is Sunday. I'm going to be there next Sunday <laughs> and I'm so pumped and so this is actually going to be something that I am going to do while I'm at the beach and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to stay protected from the sun because if you're going to be in front of the sun, it can do some damage to your skin. And so next, I'm also going to go in with some of this Origins Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I've used this on here before. Y'all, it smells so good. It literally smells like oranges like citrusy and it just smells so good and it does like dry into the skin like this is not like going to make our skin look this like wet um it will dry and i did use a lot of it which you could probably put that on before you put on your sunscreen but it really doesn't matter what order you do it in i don't think and so yeah we're just going to massage that all into our skin now since this is at the beach you probably don't want to go in with some kind of like really thick foundation um because one it's probably going to sweat off even if it's like 24 hour coverage and so i'm going to do this bb cream and this is by maybelline i love this stuff y'all and this is a medium sheer tint um but this is what we're going to use for our base today and i'm just going to squirt a little bit out and i'm going to put that on who got on my pinky put it on with a beauty sponge and um we're going to be just why do I keep saying distributing? We're going to be applying this all over our face and just kind of spreading that out. And you can make this a little, it is a little bit dark. Um, I went with the medium when I probably could have gone with the light. But it just gives you kind of like that natural glowy beach vibe. Because like if you're at the beach, you want to like bring out your natural beauty rather than um, just coating on layers and layers of makeup. Again, because it's going to sweat off. And so I love this stuff because it does last a long time. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. I've done a look with this before. It blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, and helps protect with SPF 30. So I already have the SPF 30 from that Tarte Guard stuff. Um, so this is just like an extra layer of protection. And then it also has 0% oils and other heavy ingredients. And so it's just kind of like a natural glowy vibe for your beach day. And so I'm just going to pat that in all over the face and ignore this little monstrous volcano on my face. Um, you know, I don't really have acne, but I have like breakouts. And when I do, man, they, they don't play. They are not here to play. They're, they're always huge breakouts, but it's okay. And so... I'm just going to finish putting that all over my face. And we're also going to cover our eyelids with this too. Because, um, you know, if you're laying out, even without, like, if you're not wearing sunglasses, you just really want to keep your eyelids protected, which I probably, I don't know if I really covered it with that sunscreen, but make sure you do that. And now because this is a natural beach look, we, we again, we don't want to go too heavy with our um, coverage, but I am going to put on some concealer just because I am kind of broken out and also, like, I kind of want to create just a bright look um, to kind of bring out because you're going to be under the sun and you really kind of want to highlight with that concealer to bring out like where you want the sun to hit to kind of give you that natural glowy 
contoured looking uh, spit sorry contoured looking face without looking overly contoured y'all I love this ColourPop concealer and this is in the shade light 16 and um we're just gonna cover all of our imperfections and also kind of highlight while we're doing that as well and I'm just gonna blend that in kind of lightly like we're not doing too much coverage with this concealer because we don't have on a thick foundation and so you don't want to like overpower it with a concealer but you know if you don't if you have like naturally like clear bronzy looking skin you don't even have to go over it with a BB cream but I do recommend it just because it's also protecting your skin from the sun but I'd go over it with a BB cream mainly because um, like my freckles and redness and also to protect my skin I'm going to go ahead and make this switch to my eyebrows and because this is a natural look we're going to fill them in with um, a brush and also I'm going to use this dark brown shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you've been following me you know I do this all the time. Let me get a mirror. And I like filling it in with a brush just because it makes it easier to give it that natural full brow look versus like a pencil where it looks kind of like it's just like drawn in and so and it's also a whole lot easier. And so we're just going to like lightly fill those in to kind of give you those like bushy, natural looking brows. Nothing too like perfect. And I also need my eyebrows tweezed, but you know that just brings out, makes them look even more natural. The fact that they look like Tarzan right now. And now we have our eyebrows just looking kind of good and like really thickalicious, you know, just kind of big and puffy. And I really like a good natural look at eyebrow for the beach. And now I am going to lightly set where we did that concealer and I'm going to be using this Illuminating Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals because it's kind of got like a shimmer to it and because this is like a beachy look um, we don't want to make it look too fake but I also want to give us like that natural sparkle almost um, which will kind of blend in with our sweat because you cannot go to the beach and not sweat if it's and I'm going in July um, I'm going to be a sweaty creature. And so I'm just going to set that under eye. And also a little bit of the, on the forehead with that. Um, and this, the sponge is a little damp. You know, I swear I have another breakout happening as I'm filming this video. What is my look? I always get breakouts right here. And I know y'all always see them. But they're always like right here. And it drives me crazy. I also want us to get that really just shimmery golden glow with this look that we're going for. And so I'm going to go into this Tarte. Um, it's the Tartus Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger. And we're just going to highlight our cheekbones. Just dab it with your finger. And then we're also going to take that and go into that brow bone. And just kind of highlight this overall area. Just to give you that natural looking glowy island vibe. I've never been, oh, nope. I've never been to like an island before and I want to go so bad to like the Bahamas or like anywhere, anywhere in the Caribbean. Um, cause I live so close. Cause I live in like, I'm from like lower Alabama. So it's like, I could basically swim there. And it just looks so pretty. And I want to go so bad. We're also going to do a little bit on the top of our forehead. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up here in with this beauty sponge. Just to kind of make sure it doesn't leave like fingerprints. We're going to do a little bit on the nose as well. And the upper lip. So as you can see that highlight is just making it look really kind of dewy and like a light coverage-ish but still kind of glammy you know I think I'm also actually going to be a little daring and I'm going to take a little bit of that and put that on my eyelids as our um instead of doing like an eyeshadow we're just going to kind of go for that overall shimmery glow and I think this will be that really pretty natural looking glow um, I was going to use Vaseline and I still may put a little Vaseline over this because Vaseline kind of gives you that natural shimmer. But if you want to go go for a little bit more of like a glammy natural shimmer, if that's a thing, um, then just put a little bit of liquid highlighter on your eyelids. It just makes it look super pretty. I'm sick of this little monster. You can really see it. 
Okay, now we're gonna start, we're gonna lightly curl our lashes with a little eyelash curler. Just lightly press it against there, just to give us that little boost we need. And then I'm also gonna go in with some eyelash primer because this is a natural look. And so we're gonna be using our natural lashes today, which is really fun. And I'm gonna just put some primer on to give us a little bit of thickness. And to help our mascara just kind of lock in. And if you really want to bring out like an actual natural looking thick lash, then you can also use a brown mascara. Um, I unfortunately don't have any brown mascara right now. And then I also would recommend going in with um, something that's waterproof since you are going to the beach and you're either going to be in the water or you're going to be sweating off your mascara. But I also unfortunately don't have any um, waterproof mascara at the moment. So I'm going to be going in with this Tarte... Um, Nope. Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I love this stuff. This just makes your lashes look really kind of thick and full. Um, and But like if you're actually going to the beach, I do recommend waterproof. And also, if you want to just make them look natural, if you have brown lashes. I mean, if you have light lashes, then go for the, definitely do the black. But um, I have like just super black mascara that I'm using, so it's not going to look as natural, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of butter bronzer. I would like lean it up and show you, but I busted it a couple weeks ago. And so I'm lightly going to go in and, um, and this is by Physicians Formula and it smells so good. I use this like almost every one of my videos and I have so many bronzers. But this is like my favorite one. And this is just going to give us some color and some bronze. Like you're going to be at the beach. You need to be your little bronze goddess self. But after I do my bronzer, I like to go back over um, the surrounding areas with just a beauty blender to kind of make sure we it doesn't look like too choppy or anything. For our lips, for the time being right now, I think all I want to use really is Vaseline. Um... Just because Vaseline just makes you really, like, overly look natural. And so, um, it also, I think it has a, yeah, it's a skin protectant. I'm not sure if there's, like, any kind of SPF in it, but whatever you call it. But, yeah, it just kind of gives you that natural just glow and kind of, like, ties in with our eye look. So, just really pretty. I'm also going to throw on, I think, a little tiny bit of blush. And this is just a natural shade. It's called Party by Tarte. And we're just going to throw that on, like, barely dust the face. Just to give you a little bit of life and color on your cheeks. To give you that little rosy, sun-kissed tint. And so, yeah. Now I'm going to set my face with this Pure Miracle Mist Hydrating Spray. And, um, it's just kind of does leave you it kind of gives you that beachy smell um i also have my mac fix plus the um coconut smelling one and it's the prep and prime also and so um yeah this just kind of gives you that overall dewy look and so it kind of makes it look a little wet but it will dry and so yeah okay now that our face is pretty much done i'm gonna go and give my hair some natural looking beach waves and my hair does not like to curl but i do have some Sorry, I do have some techniques that I do use. So what I do, I go in with this Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. And this is the number four, like the Extreme Hold. And I'll just kind of run that through my hair lightly, just all the way through it. And then I have two um, different wand slash uh, curling irons that I use. So first I go in with this Conair um, Infinity Pro curling iron and I will split my hair normally in three layers to where almost when I'm done I almost look like Shirley Temple because it's so curly and then what I do after that I'll kind of like brush it out to give it more like loose looking curls and then I'll take I'll do that with tiny pieces and then I go and I will do the same thing but I'll grab thicker pieces and I'll go in with this one by Remington and I just go in with thicker pieces and because it's already been t curled in smaller bits um, after it's been kind of curled in smaller bits, I'll grab like double what I would the first time and I'll go in with this. And since it's already been curled, it kind of makes it easier for the thicker wand to hold curl. Because if I just go in with this thick wand to get those natural beach waves, it'll fall out within two seconds. Versus like if I pre-curl my hair, then it goes better. You know, sometimes like people with super curly hair, when they want to curl their hair, they'll straighten their hair first and then 
um, go through and curl it to give those like actual looking like big curls and so that's kind of what I have to do I have to like curly hair like make my hair curly first and then go through and grab thicker pieces so I hope that made sense and so yeah I'm gonna go into my bathroom now and do that really fast and just kind of give myself thick natural looking beach waves which I guess technically for me it's not natural and you don't have to do this this is just like if you want to be one of those girls that have the natural beach waves this is how I get them <laughs> they don't come natural for me Okay guys, so I just went through and did my hair and it just kind of has just like that natural wavy bounce to it. You know, nothing too much. It's not perfect. I just curled my hair, like spiraled it and then went back and used that bigger iron, which honestly I probably could just leave it with the smaller one because, um, the smaller actual curling iron because it will fall out. And then I went through and spritzed it with some hairspray. There is, um, one last real step I want to do and this is not like mandatory. This is just to give you that overall glow like on your shoulder area, arms, or wherever you want to put it. I'm going to go in with some glittery body oil and this is in Champagne Toast and I got this from Bath and Body Works and I love this stuff. And so I'm just going to like dab that on my arm. And then just kind of rub that in and it's almost kind of hard to see with my freckles um, because they're so like deep and dark. Hold on, I can't even see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to do that on my chest a little and then massage that in. It's probably going to get all over this tank top and I'm going to have to wash it. But um, this is just something to kind of give you that extra glowy, dewy, wet look. I'm sure you can probably put this on your face too, but I'm not going to do that because there is a chance that that could break you out. And if you got a friend that could just kind of rub it like on your back, like if you were in a bikini top, let's see what I look like. You know, you can't really tell too much, but it kind of just gives you that extra glowy shine, especially if you got you a nice sun-kissed glow bronzy tan. So that'll look really nice too as well. Another thing I would like to promise that it is not dark in my room. I know it kind of looks dark. Um, in the camera when I watch it back, but so you can't really see the actual glowiness that I have going on like between my face and my skin. And so yeah, I think this is our final outcome. I don't think there's really anything else you want to do. You want to keep it just kind of natural and glowy and bronzy and dewy and fun for the beach. And this is kind of that dewy skin, like skin, sun-kissed look that I have going on with the face. And so yeah, just it's not very hard to do. It takes a couple minutes. Probably took me 10 minutes to do my hair. And as you can see, it looks like it took 10 minutes. Like it's not perfect. But that's the point. You don't even have to do any of that. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see any other kind of videos like this as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. New videos three times a week. And so, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Have a great time if you're going to the beach.